let's see this question one year ago a father was five times as old as his son so at present if we assume that father says is f and son says is s they are saying that one year ago which means minus one year father says will be f minus one would have been f minus one and son says would have been s minus one now they are saying that one year ago father says was five times as old as his son right father was five times as old as his son means f minus 1 equal to 5 into s minus 1 so this is given and in 5 years time in 5 years time is plus 5 5 years he says exceeds twice his son says by 10 years which means after 5 years it would be f plus 5 and s plus 5 now they are saying that he says see this in five years time he says he says exceeds twice his son's present is so son's present is s yes. so 2 into s yes by 10 years this is what is given now these two are given these two relations from these two relations they are asking us to find out what is the ratio of their ages ratio of their ages is which means is means present so as of now what their ratio is they are asking us to find out what is f is to s in order to find it out you can solve for f and s using these two equations so one equation is f minus 1 equal to 5s minus 1 so f minus 5s equal to minus 4 right and the other equation is f minus 2s equal to 5 right so you can solve it in order to find out what is son says and father says if I subtract then what do I get I am going to get minus 3s equal to minus 9 which means s equal to 3 so son says equal to 3 now you can find out father says so what is father says you can you can use any of the relations and you can find out so f minus 2 into minus no 3 sorry equal to 5 so what is f f is 6 plus 5 which means 11 so father says is 11 and son says is 3 so for 11 year old father there is a son who is 3 years old okay so anyway it's just for the question sake of the question so don't worry about the meaning there so now what is the ratio of father and son so ratio of father and son would be 11 is to 3 ages of father. okay fine Hi. if you are planning to do masters then doing masters abroad is better than doing masters in india i'll give you all the reasons so first reason is out of 1 lakh students who take gate every year there are only 500 seats in old iits so all the iits put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5 percent and iits universities better than iits they have very good acceptance rate like 30 percent 40 percent but all the iits put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5 percent and if you are working hard to get into iit bombay IIT Bombay's ranking is 177 and IIT Roorkee's ranking is 400. If you are happy to get into IIT Roorkee, then getting into universities better than IIT Roorkee is easier compared to getting into IIT Roorkee. And looking at the salaries for computer science, of, uh, for software jobs, if you have done your masters in computer science in US, the salaries are ranging from 80 lakhs per year to 1.2 crore per year. So even if you take an average of 1 crore per year, your savings will be much higher than the salaries in India. After taxes and your cost of living, you can easily save 40 to 50 lakhs uh, per year. And in India, the maximum jobs that you get is around 30 lakhs. So your savings will be much greater than the salaries in India. And these are all the services that we provide. University shortlisting. So depending on your profile, we will shortlist what are the universities that you have to apply. And statement of purpose building. And then LOR guidance. And GRE and English test assistance. And education loan assistance. So you don't have to have any collateral. Which, which means without any security, now you can get education loan. Getting education loan is very simple these days and whatever the amount fee the amount of uh, fee that you have you have a range of uh, universities you can apply for 10 lakh universities 20 lakh universities or 50 lakh universities but whatever it is you are going to get complete education loan and you can pay off your education loan in one year after you getting it after you get a job 
and then we do visa assistance, mock visa interviews, and then connecting with the university alumni. So now you might ask why we should join Game of Visas. So the answer is we have 90% success rate, 99% success rate. And these are all the destinations that we guide the students to. So we guide students to any country that you want to go. So now it is not just USA. We guide to UK, Germany, Australia, Canada. So we guide, we guide students to all the countries. We work with all the destinations. And if you are interested in going abroad, you have to just drop us a message on this WhatsApp number 9494 Okay, thank you.